hello everyone welcome to my channel today tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work with the level and grids with the model client model or other model you have and you are going to link and referring that suppose you are working with the structural or ID or any um, uh, mechanical disciplines and you have uh, architectural model based model to link and work uh, with that that model has proper uh, project coordinates and everything so you will refer that model to build your model okay so suppose this is the autodesk sample model architectural model and uh, we are going to just uh, use this one for our learning purpose so this one uh, I mean just I'm going to bring the new model here just go to this time open new and then here I'm just going to choose the structural template and click OK, okay. and I'm going to insert and link that model okay before before working on this this is the blank file what we have suppose you have uh, I I'm sure that you will have different uh, because uh, maybe you will have uh, your uh, project template uh, I mean uh, your uh, company standard template so you can work with that uh, same but here I will just open the blank and I'm just try to link that Revit model what I was uh, using that one so from here I'm just going to link that model which is okay so in the link revit i'm just going to the get the file uh, it is here this is the architectural file this time you can link it from the internal origin to origin or project by shared coordinates since you had uh, this file suppose you have this file from the client or architect have proper coordinates and everything and you suggested to use this file to acquire the coordinates and this was this was your base for this project so this time you can use that one uh, share by shared coordinates okay so okay let's use the shared coordinates here also but you also try to use the always shared coordinates to make sure the all the project has same coordinates so once you link our link will be appear here and then after that we will go and we will use the use further for the line position center to center okay because it is showing that the host model and link do not share the same coordinates okay that's why it is like this so position will be aligned or center to center keep anyway because this is just like a tutorial we are not going to work with the any uh, coordinate system or now I will just go to change some ok so this is enough because we are just uh, have to work with the our main thing is to just get the grids and levels okay here in this tutorial so for the grid just go to architectural tab and then the grid okay here is the grid and you can go and draw the grid also first thing is that it's come in everyone mind that you can go and draw the grid okay uh, second is that uh, second option pick line you can pick on this line and then you can make the grids also so one by one you can go and pick the line and make the grids but here I was as I told that I'm just going to show you delete that one and then I'm just going to show you that the uh, copy monitor system and what is the use of that and how you can do with that so for the level and grids just go to collaboration yes collaboration and here copy monitor option is here since this uh, Revit 2024 all the icons have a uh, little bit uh, 
different from the previous version so this is good uh, so just go to collaborate uh, tab and then here you can find the copy monitor ok select uh, there is the option to select link just click on this and select this link of the main model which I link here and you can see that copy monitor option is enabled here from here just go to click on the copy ok and you can go and click one by one to copy this since we have uh, more than one element to copy just go to check the multiple and then hold the control key and go and select like this or drag and select like this also so you can see that once you select it's showing that blue color do this side here also the same okay so we think already we selected all and then once finished then click here on the finish okay so once you just copy this one you can see that once you hide this just select this architecture uh, yeah just you have to finish this one also here uh, and then you already come out from the copy monitor uh, uh, option and then once you select the link and just click HH to hide temporarily hide element you can see that your grid is already here what we already copied once you select that grid you will see that this is the option it's showing that the copy monitor grid this is the icon it's showing that copy monitor and if you click here it will stop copy monitor I mean this icon will go and this will be act like a normal what we draw from here same this grid so just go mm, click the undo button to keep it up to here and then all the grids we bring it uh, copy monitor option here now I'm just going to the south elevation and this time we have elevation again we will go to the collaborate tab and copy monitor select the link same link we will go to select this and again we will do copy monitor choose multiple option and then from here this time we have to go to copy the levels just go to select all one together even whatever will be selected in between this one also it will copy if you have any model element also if you copy that one or it will come uh, selected in this so it will be also copy so just make sure whatever you want you can just either pick one by one or drag and drop also you can select so if you are sure all the levels are selected just go to click on the finish and check here also finish button so your model also you can see the levels also copy and here also you can get the same copy monitor icon okay since this is a uh, level and grids are uh, copied you just go and save this same project one and then what was the benefit of that I will show you this so again I am just going to our main model which was this one the best model which we use that and I am just trying to update this some grid here so here you have 20 feet I can say that this one 18 feet okay I change here and just let's go to make one change in the elevation also so for the elevation I'm just going to pick this section and here I'll say that this is 72 feet
okay so this is already changed since our last update and copy this I change here just save it just go to save this one this changes and then again move to the our uh, linked model here and then you have to go to manage tab manage link because whenever you will work you will open that model all the links will be reload from that time but if you have already opened the model if you already open the model this link was not uh, it is not getting the updated link until you will go and reload the model so just go and reload this model again it is the warning is showing that instance of link needs coordination review because of we changed the level and grids it's showing that already its message came and then you can see that our parapet was here this was okay this was the parapet too what we copy from there so once we will go to collaborate tab okay you can see that coordination review click here select the link and you can see that the option once you select that link the option pop up that grid okay grid moved and then level move this is the option it's showing that once you are selecting here you can see that this grid uh, this level parapet 2 it's showing that blue means that this level move what you have to do either you can postpone that one reject accept difference if you go to move level 2 apply you can see that it's in one click it's already updated so whenever your level will be changed okay you can get the in, uh, message here coordination review and then you will update it will directly update in the model and you don't have to move and you don't have to worry about that there your levels is not matching with the um, uh, main levels and grades if they have updated time to time or there is any changes you don't aware about that you don't have any information that or uh, any uh, one of your colleagues working they don't have uh, information that the level change and later on okay you found that uh, levels are not matching so if you're using copy monitor it will be very useful for that uh, so you will get the already information pop-up message that the level has changed again go to the same in the level one just go to bring back reset all the link and here also you saw that one will change that level level uh, sorry grid uh, two so just again i'll go to collaboration tab and coordination review just select the link and same option it's came so just i'm just going to move away you can see once I select this is highlighting that this two grid two has changes grid move so again same we will go to modify grid two click ok and ok our grids also fix so like this you can use the copy monitor and then update your whatever changes is coming further thank you thanks for watching please subscribe for upcoming videos thank you